Oh, we're gonna see. I forgot they could run that. <laughs>today we start series 13 uh, not an official vgc format but all mythicals and all restricteds there are no limitations other than the species clause and the item clause right here it's gonna be pretty insane and we are starting off with this rental code that i saw online and thought it was pretty interesting with the power swap magirna which uh with the soul heart boost can pass off to specs kyogre we'll see how that goes and if we'll be able to accomplish it but i will be using this team for this episode and the next episode but if you do enjoy the videos be sure to leave a like down below leave a comment down below it really does help me out and i'm really excited to try out series 13 and how it goes because i have not been able to play i've been a little bit sick lately and i am still recovering but i really want to get an episode out there but let's get started and play some games why is there a random Pekurchin on this team but Pekurchin victini groudon zashin yavel talzarud okay uh, Landers really good against their team for sure. They don't exactly have the best answer to Landers. I wonder if it's special or physical Victini. That's a big concern of mine. Uh, I want to say Landers Zacian actually might be the lead here. I think no Bagirna here, unfortunately. Trigger's not bad, but I don't think it's like necessary here. Hmm, it's actually kind of weird because I want to bring five Pokemon right here. Uh, Landers having U-turn would also have been really nice here. But uh, we are going to go with the Landris here with, I think, Zacian. I think it's just super strong. Or maybe Zacian plus, like, my own Victini. I don't hate that either. A Calyx Eye seems decent, but it's just, like, too tough, I think, to set up. I don't have an easy way. I guess I could position for a Trick Room, but it's just, like, really awkward. Uh, you know what? Let's go for a Trick Room route, actually. I'm going to go with Victini plus my gear and I think. Have Kyogre and the... Calyx Ice in the back because uh, I think this is the way to go mainly just because like yeah I think Landris is so good against their team like look at their team Landris does so well but the thing is I feel like Cali Ice on their Trick Room they just don't have a swap like they realistically do not have a switch in uh so we'll see they this could I think this is probably more predictable I think they're leaning Victini I don't know what set their Victini is which is the hard part so they laid Victini Yveltal. This could be a little bit concerning, but it's Groudon plus Victini. Okay. I don't hate this. Yeah, I don't hate this. Okay. I kind of want to just go for Final Gambit and Trick Room here. Yeah, I don't mind Final Gambit and Trick Room here. I'm going to go for Final Gambit into... Uh, the question is, do I go into Final Gambit for the Victini slot or do I go for the Groudon? If this is Focus Sash Victini, that's a problem, but I don't think it would be. You know what? Let's just, let's just send it. Hey, Dynamax Victini, that's a problem too, but... I don't know if Victini is technically a Dynamax Pokemon. They actually go for Helping Hand. Okay, that's actually best case scenario because I'm able to get the Final Gambit off into the... A Victini. So Victini goes down. I have a Focus Sash Magirna, so I always survive the Groudon attack. And I always get the Trick Room up here. Okay. Uh, it actually would have been way better if I got the final Gambit off, I guess, into the Groudon. But uh, Victini was a massive threat. I would gladly take the knock on the Victini right here. Like, sure, it wasn't the best case, but this is still, like, a pretty decent scenario here. Well, especially if that happens. I'll, I'll definitely take that one. <laughs> Precipice miss right there. Okay. Now let's get in our I want to say your Cali Ice, but did our Cali Ice or Kyogre? Kyogre's not bad here because I could go for the power swap play, and plus two Kyogre is kind of threatening here. You know what? Let's just go for it. If they go out into Pinkurchin, that's kind of fine. Yeah. Like realistically, I don't think I mind this position at all. Yeah, I don't. I think this turn, huh? Rain is set up. I can go for the. I realistically kind of just want to go for the Dynamax Max Geyser into Pinkerchin, and afterward, then they don't have to switch to Cali Ice anymore. And then I'm gonna go for the. I guess I Flare Cannon here. No, do I Flare Cannon here? I can. Flare Cannon is not terrible. I don't need the plus two right here. And I guess if the Pikurchin Sash, I'd rather get rid of this Pikurchin right here. And if the Pikurchin isn't Sash, it goes down to the 
attack from my Magirna to Flare Cannon. Next Geyser gets redirected into Groudon, and then they just 100% lose. Uh, the only difference is, I guess, uh, if the Picurchin wants to target Magirna, but I don't know. I feel like Kyurie is always a threat right here. And yeah, I don't think the Pestle's Blades miss. Sure, it's annoying but for them, but I really don't think it's going to change that much of what's going to happen here. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be... They're going to Rising Voltage my Kyurie. I'm going to go for the Flare Cannon, and then Max Geyser is going to get redirected into Groudon, and then they're just going to have a pretty terrible time right here. Are they Dynamax to uh, Groudon? Okay, so this is Groudon Survive Max Geyser in Rain? I think it has to be a Soul Vest or some special defensive variant here, uh, which is fine here. Okay. Imagine if I just went for the power swap and went for the nuke on the Groudon. That would have been something right here, but... I don't think this is too bad at all because even if I don't KO the Groudon, puts in range of Glacial Lands, which is already problematic for them. Rising Voltage, yeah, I would have KO'd by Kyogre regularly, but a good thing I did not go for that. Floor Cannon is going to come out into the Picurchin right here, which should knock out. It is Focus Ash, okay. <laughs> I am very glad I did go for the double up into that. Although I could be losing my Grout, my uh, Kyogre here, I guess. Max Quake is going to do a lot to Kyogre. Although I don't know if it picks up the knockout since I actually have a bulky Kyogre right here. We'll find out. A goodbye Pink Urchin. That Pokemon is out of the game. Soul Art is going to activate on Magirna. So I am back to plus one. And we're going to see a Max Quake going to be fired off. Who are you targeting here, Groudon? This is a... Uh... Oh, Magirna. Okay. Which is completely fine. I do not mind the Magirna right here. So... Yeah, I will gladly take this. They get a special defense boost. Uh... And then they reveal their final Pokemon. If it's Zarud, I could just knock out the Zarud right here with the Flare Cannon potentially. It's Zashin coming out though. Okay. Huh. Okay. I mean, I actually would have probably preferred if like Cali Ice was in if they did hit the Precipice Blades earlier. But yeah, this is not a bad situation at all. I'm going to go for a... I think I'm just going to tar down their Zashin. I'm going to power swap my Kyogre right here. Yeah, I'm going to go for the power swap in case uh, my Max Geyser is not able to finish off the... Uh, Zashin right here if it protects that's unfortunate yeah but I kind of need the damage in the Zashin regardless and if they do pick up the knockout and again it's fine right or a Kyogre because then I just go for high horsepower afterwards so uh hello plus one Kyogre here comes the max guys and the Zashin should put in range of high horsepower easily so uh, that is some pretty good damage into the Zashin for sure right there as we are going to see a rock fall going to come out I guess changing the weather and not get the they didn't target the Magina. huh uh, changing the weather is interesting right there. Okay. That's fine. All right. I mean, it doesn't knock out the Magirna here, and now I can go for... I guess maybe they were hoping for Max Geyser doesn't pick up the knockout into the Zosh in the following turn, but yeah. Uh, this is a very safe... I guess I just go for a Max Geyser again. Like, I always target on the Zosh in slot. Should I power swap? Power swap doesn't do anything. I guess I just flare cannon the Zoshin right here. Yeah, I flare cannon the Zoshin here. If they go for a double protect and get it, it's annoying. Uh, they go for the Max Garden Groudon. Is this a double in the Zoshin? It is... No. Okay, they read me to target down the Groudon, which is perfect. Because Zoshin is really the Pokemon that I'm really scared of. Because that's the Pokemon that can be my Calyx. Uh, this should be a guaranteed win, I think. Because now I get a Max Geyser off into the Zoshin. Pick up the Knockout. And then Max Geyser into the Groudon. will take it down right here so goodbye Zashin and now Kali I should be able to clean up this game which is very very nice did I lock myself with a move from the Kyra I didn't right no I don't think I did so uh Magirna also going to get plus one once again so yeah that max rockfall play questionable but I think I still won with the Kali Ice uh although there could have been a few factors of like uh Protect Groudon, uh, the high horsepower missing, and how much the blades do. But yeah, I mean, at this point, I guess I have to go for Blizzard, which is the only awkward part. I'm going to go for Blizzard and uh, Protect here, actually, because I don't want that Groudon getting a a critical hit. Like, getting Precious Blades, KO, double knockout, and then critting or flinching down my Calyx. Uh, there are still, like, possibilities of me losing, but... Ooh, able to clutch that one now. Pinkurchin actually threatening my Kyogre, but <laughs> able to pick up the win right there. Again, I don't think I would have really minded the Precious Blades thing. Game rid of Victini was so big for me because I didn't want to switch in my Kyogre against a potential Groudon attack. The Rockfall, I think, was a little bit uh, 
of a mess up. A Max Quake would have probably been better. A, they knock out the Kyogre at the range of that. And B, like just Max Quake in general, boosting up the special offense, I think was more valuable than changing the weather where the weather didn't even help them realistically. So uh was able to be put in a very strong position, I think, with my Calyx Ice Rider didn't even have to come out, but it would have still been able to do really well in this endgame. It could have still been a little bit tricky. Glacial Lands plus a Flare Cannon was still really strong against them overall, though, so I think I would have still been okay. But yeah, it could have came down to me hitting attacks, them getting some double protects as well. Could have really uh, hurt my plans right there, though. All right, Groudon, Victini, Calyx, Ice Rider, Lorantis, Comfe, and Zygarde. Very interesting team, but okay. Let's see. Weakness policy could be activated on the Zygarde. The Comfe is actually kind of an interesting Mon right here. I actually really like our Victini. Our Victini can go in against my post team, and I mean it does really well here. I like both my Steel types. Calyx, Ice Rider is also pretty insane, actually, now that I think about it, because the Zygarde, Lorantis, and Groudon all really hate dealing with calyx ice actually most of my post team actually does not like dealing with calyx ice rider at all so this is kind of confusing because i want to bring a lot of my pokemon right here i think we leave magirna behind uh i mean it helps against zygarde potentially but definitely want to bring the calyx ice rider i think kyogre wants to be broad especially to help out against their victini I actually want to bring my Victini because Final Gambit's actually really good against their Victini potentially, mainly because I'm not sure Victini would be their Dynamax Pokemon, but I'd be kind of surprised if it would be here. I think I'm going to bring Victini plus Calyx Ice Rider here. And then in the back, uh, Zacian's not bad here, but I am thinking of going with Magirna and the Kyogre right here for the better Trick Room route here because... I don't know if I'm going to go for the Trick Room or not. It's definitely a possibility. Their team can also utilize Trick Room well with Victini or Comfey if it is going to be the case. And I'd imagine they have Trick Room because of the Lorantis. Yet, I really do like the idea of just being able to really put on the pressure. And I have like multiple modes too, I feel like. A Zacian is just like weird because I don't know who I'm going to Dynamax at that rate. A Comfey plus the Zygarde is completely fine against my Victini and my Calyx Ice Rider here. I don't even think a Max Quake can knock out the Calyx Ice Rider in one shot. It is absolutely insane how bulky Calyx Ice Rider is. So I think this turn, I would want to go for the U-turn into the Comfe. Oh, I don't have U-turn. I found no Gambit. Searing Shot, V-Create. All right. So I was hoping I had U-turn so I could break a potential Sash on Comfe, but this is still not too bad here. I think I'm just going to go hard into Magirna here for the Victini slot because I think that just having the Victini is still very useful in the late game. And I'm just going to fire off my Glacial Lands because they do not have a good switch to Glacial Lands on their team. They actually have decided not to opt to have any Steel types on their team, which is crazy when I think the best potential Pokemon you could have in this format involve one of Yushi, Zacian, or Magirna. So I'm very shocked about that, but we will see here. I am bringing up my Magirna right here. And uh, let's see if it's... Life of Calyx Ice Rider is going to hit hard, and I mean hard. Although, I guess this could be Steel Spike from the Zygarde if it's Steel Spike. I actually don't know if we'll live, but I don't know if the Zygarde would run that set. Uh, I, I'd imagine maybe it is. Maybe they have Max Darkness too. Maybe that can knock out Calyx Ice Rider. The thing is, I am probably very underestimating Zygarde's attack stack because it's just not that great. They go for Helping Hand. Okay, so it's not the weakest policy setup, so that means they really should not KO here. They go for a dragon, but it's in the Calyx. Oh, imagine. Imagine if that was the Pini slot. Would have been insane. Actually, that did a lot more than I expected. Is that life? Okay, I was about to say, that really should not have done that much damage unless it was life. But critical hit makes way more sense here. Okay, as I am able to get a Glacial Lance off into the Zygarde. And look at how much damage that does. That does so much damage through the Dynamax and a minus one right there because we are a life of Calyx, which is fine here. Eject button? No, uh, berry. No, leftovers. Okay. And then the Zygarde transformation. All right. I don't think this is too bad of a spot. And actually, it's probably a really strong position for us, mainly just because even though we could potentially be losing our uh, Calyx Ice Rider right here and they could go for Max Quake, I always get the guarantee KO here with a Flare Cannon plus a Glacial Lands combination right here. Or I could go for Trick Room. But the thing about Trick Room is I don't know if I really need to set it up just yet. Especially when I have Scarf Victini in the back. And since they used up their Dynamax, Scarf Victini is actually a massive problem for them. So I'm actually going to go for Flare Cannon into the Zygarde. 
and i'm gonna go for the glacial lance because the two plays i see them going for are gonna be a uh they could go for a healthy hand i guess and attack with magirna they could go for the floor healing or they could go for the draining kiss into the tax ice rider and the max quake which i think all are acceptable options because I should still be able to knock out the Zygarde. Uh, if they go for Floral Healing, they have to KO the Calyx Ice Rider. And in return for KOing the Calyx Ice Rider, they give my Magirna a plus special attack boost to negate their plus special defense boost they're about to get. So I don't think this is that bad of a position at all. They do go for the Max Quake. They actually target the Magirna. So a little bit awkward for... Actually, no. This is still a pretty good position. Mainly just because I get the double knockout here with the Glacial Lance right here. And yeah... I mean, I don't get the boost right here, but this is still a very fine spot. This Glacial Land's going to come out and just knock out the Comfey as well as a lot to the Zygarde, which is completely acceptable. Magirna. Oh boy, we're not getting plus three, are we? I don't remember. I think my Calyx Ice Rider was in range of the Life Orb. It was, yeah. So I am at actually plus two right now, but it's going to get negated by the Flare Cannon. I'm going to get plus one from the Solar. Solar is just an insane ability. Look at how many knockouts just having this turn. Three knockouts on this turn. And imagine if I just had like Dazzling Gleam or something. Would have just been able to get <laughs> an insane proc right here from the Magirna, but this is a really strong position because now we are able to win the Weather War essentially with our Kyogre with Water Spout. We still have Dynamax available, which is absolutely incredible. And now we can go out into our Victini right here and threaten that final game of pressure. And we force them to be put in a really awkward situation where I'm just always threatening that final gambit right here. We're going to see their Calyx Ice Rider come out and then Groudon, I want to say, comes out here. Yeah, Groudon comes out here. Okay. Now, I guess the question is, do I want to lock myself into the V crate or do I want to go for final gambit? This is actually a pretty important turn for both players right here because it can get a little bit awkward if I do get this wrong. Although I don't really think it's that awkward. I still think Dynamax Kyogre will just win this end game realistically. So I can go for the... I'm really leaning towards just final gambit to Groudon, especially that Groudon doesn't have protective. It's like an Assault Vest set. I just probably just instant win the game if that's the case here and i think they would really be scared of that v create from this uh from this victini although i could go for the searing shot which is a spread move which is another possibility i could go for or i could trick here but trick doesn't really get me anything i'd rather just go for the final gambit if that's the case right here although i could trick a scarf kyogre although i don't really think that's helpful i'd rather just final gambit the groudon Let's see if this is going to be the case. Okay, cool. We get a final gambit off into the Groudon, which is always going to KO because Groudon can only have a maximum HP set of 207. Same as Victini. So goodbye, Groudon. And look at this. Look at this Magear that's so hard. That it's has gotten like plus five in this game alone. Right now it is at currently plus three. And if we're faster than Calyx, oh boy, Calyx, I'd be scared. And yes, we are faster than the Calyx. So goodbye, Calyx. Oh, wow, that actually lived. I'm actually surprised. That's a plus three Magirna, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're going to see the high horsepower come out into the Magirna, which is going to be able to pick up the knockout. But yeah, uh, should still be a win here. I'm actually surprised I didn't knock out uh, Calyx. I guess either Calyx is that insane or it has to be the Assault Vista, I think, on that because... That's just absolutely insane to me. You live in Magirna. I'm max special attack, right? Yeah, I am max special attack. So that's pretty insane to me. Uh, we are... That's a min speed Calyrex. So the only way they could win this is with a quick claw. Yep. So I'm just going to Kyogre and I will Dynamax my Kyogre just for safety, I think. Because, yeah, I mean, I have no reason not to just Dynamax Kyogre, right? And just go for Max Geyser. Sure, it's going to take a little bit longer. But to avoid the absolute worst case of like a focus band or a <laughs> something crazy going on, we'll just go for that max geyser here. Well, I, yeah, because if it's focus band, you could just, you know, do something crazy. It has seed bomb focus band. Uh, I should be able to survive one seed bomb plus one with the Dynamax. And then it's just you have to go super crazy with a <laughs> double focus band potentially. But yeah, that's what we're trying to avoid right now as uh that's probably the only realistic loose con i'm pretty sure quick claw doesn't get it i'm pretty sure quick claw crit seed bomb doesn't so we will be able to get mx guys off finish off the calyx and that is going to be a good game right there and the power i think of well a hey, life of calyx ice rider let me just say that pokemon we already knew in series 12 that was crazy but realistically so was the magirna like even though this magirna says it's not meant for sweeping 
it did a ton of damage and was just able to stack a boost and that's kind of the crazy thing about this format there's so much damage output in this format so easy to get quick knockouts that magirda could easily get the soul heart boost uh we're gonna see this groudon set which is a pasha berry groudon no protect be create trick room focus ash with teeny oh that could have actually been scary assault vest body press calyx ice rider it was a salt vest okay so this wasn't a salt vest calyx ice rider i just blew back this calyx i was about to say like a plus three flirt kind of should have hurt more uh policy zygarde it was policy i'm surprised they didn't go for it instead of the helping hand but uh we will definitely take it uh focus sash wait no it's uh leftovers comfy with allies which and it didn't matter because I did have a Calyx Ice. I'm really surprised they didn't go for the immediate draining kiss because with that crit, they, I actually would have probably been in a terrible spot. Uh, maybe even a game losing spot because they crit. But yeah, I did. I would have lived any attack from the from the uh, Zygarde to look like, uh, even if they got the policy boost. I guess the thing is that a little bit of damage could have been the difference between uh, getting knocked out or not for them. But yeah, overall, uh, just able to really overwhelm them. Calyx Ice Rider was just great going for attacks, was able to get like a really early lead because I was able to survive the hits. Just KO, pick up quick knockouts, and that's kind of a trend with this team. And then have an end game for Kyogre set. Oh boy, uh, five restricteds and a Reggie Alaki. No mythicals though. All right, so a Calyx Ice Rider, Eternatus, Reggie Alaki, Groudon, Lunala, and the Zacian right here. Okay, so hmm, kind of a interesting position, man. The fact that Alec is faster than Scarf McGearn is still really insane. Landers is actually a really good Mon here, though. I do like Landers quite a bit here. I think Landers is probably being brought here with McGearn. Actually, I do actually. Uh, is it McGearn? I think it is. I'm trying to see how I can get Trick Room up safely because if I get Trick Room up, I feel like I'm in a really solid position. It's just really hard to actually get Trick Room up, which is my problem. But I do kind of like the uh, Landris uh, McGear in lead, I think. And then Calyx Ice Rider can do really well in the end game with Kyogre. The only problem is that the Lunala has Wide Guard on this team. And I could very well see it having Wide Guard on this team. Which makes it a lot harder for me to actually sweep their team. So let's see if we can actually accomplish that. Because that is going to be the main point right here. If I'm able to get the Trick Room up and bypass Lunala, great. But I don't know what their lead is here. Going to be the... Reggie Alaki and the uh, land uh, Zacian. Okay. A pretty decent lead for me here, actually. Okay. So I do lead Magirna and Landris. Huh. Earthquake does so much damage. And I mean so much damage. Uh, they can't knock out the Landris unless they specifically double it up. A choice banded Landris would go insane here. So I think I'm actually just going to attempt to go for the Earthquake here. And I think I'm going to protect they double up my lander is uh sure and then i'm gonna get into a awkward position i guess the following turn but we'll see uh there are no dynamaxes no protects okay so reflect fragility okay and uh, that's very passive here as we're gonna see a behemoth blade going out into the magirna interesting maybe they're afraid of potential policy right here but i am able to get a choice bandit earthquake off and uh, that's the Reggie Alaki's Focus Ash. This is definitely going down right here to the Earthquake here. And yeah, look at that damage. Just Choice Bandit Earthquake. If they didn't have Reflect, that Zacian was also getting knocked out there. So a uh, beautiful turn as we are able to get the Soul Heart Boost from the Magirna immediately. Uh, which is nice. Let's see uh, what they are going to bring out next. Maybe someone that can actually handle the Landorus. But I do not know if they actually have a Mon like that right there. I guess the Tarantus Dynamax Cannon would probably beat the Landorus. Uh, they do go out into the... Calyx Ice Rider. Huh. Okay, that's an interesting one right here. Okay. Hmm, the question is, do I want to... I think I'd rather just go out into my... Uh, this is uh, depending on the speed tiers of the Calyx right here. Because I don't mind going for the Earthquake right here. Uh, just to knock out the Zacian right here, potentially. But, hmm... It just could be a very awkward position at this rate because, oh boy, that Calyx Ice Rider is a little bit annoying. I think I just go out in a Calyx Ice Rider of my own and I feel like I just go for the Flur Cannon into the Zacian and pick up the knockout right there because if I go for Earthquake against myself, that means the Calyx Ice Rider could get two boosts and I really don't want that. I feel like I don't get much damage value either. 
but uh, we'll find out. Maybe they're scared and maybe they Dynamax immediately, which I wouldn't mind if they Dynamax immediately. Uh, we're just going to see them attack, though. Okay, Behemoth Blade going to come out. I imagine this is going to target Magirna. I actually don't even think this knocks out uh, with the Glacial Lands combination specifically. Yeah, like, Magirna is a very bulky Pokemon, so I'll gladly take that. And uh, their Calyx Ice Fire is slow. Okay, so Flurcan is going to come out into the Zacian. At plus one, this should pick up the knockout. It does. Okay, so Magirna back to neutral. This Pokemon's dumb <laughs> with Soul Heart. Okay, so Zacian goes down here. Uh, did Maga did Calyx have Trick Room or did it go for its own? I don't know. What are you going for? Trick Room does go up. Okay. Uh, which is completely fine. Uh, because my Calyx Ice Rider is in a very, very strong position. Uh, let's see if it's Groudon in the back. I want to say it's Groudon in the back. Okay. Uh, no, it's Lunala. Okay. That's acceptable here. Okay. So, kind of an interesting position. Uh, how Glacial Lance doesn't pick up KOs. They could go for Max Quake here, which is fine, realistically. I think this is just a Max Quake angle for me here. Just Max Quake down at the Lunala right here and just go for the Protect. I don't really see the point of going to Landis for the Intimidate when they could... Uh, they could call that and go for the Glacial Lance, which is why I don't want to go for that. I think just going for the Max Quake, break that Shadow Shield on Lunala, and uh, boosting my Special Defense is just, like, so huge right here. And... Uh, the end game is just gonna really come down to the Calyrex. I still don't know if it's a speed, what speed tier it is, mainly because it did go for the Trick Room earlier, which is a little bit annoying because I don't know if my Kyogre outspeeds guaranteed. They don't Dynamax. They're just refusing to Dynamax to the exact last moment. Okay. Uh, we go for the High Horsepower. Okay. Into the Magirna. Nice. And we are able to get a Max Quake off into the uh, Lunala. Again, that special defense boost is absolutely huge here. So big special defense boost even though it doesn't do that much damage because uh, that reflect is uh kind of big right there for them we are able to get the special defense boost which is huge for the calyx uh, we're gonna see i forgot they could run that <laughs> i forgot that they could run that okay fair enough uh let's go for a hailstorm and i guess the landers play Ah, uh, that hypnosis is so, so bad. Uh, what could I have done? I guess I could have Dynamaxed my Magirna and went out into my Landorus the last turn. I guess that would have been too bad. It prevented hypnosis. I mean, it still went into the Landorus slot, but I don't really like that too much. I think just getting the Intimidation should be fine, but I'm going to have to make sure that the Calyx Ice Rider doesn't get boosted. They are refusing to Dynamax, though, which is kind of nice here. Okay. They really are just keep clicking hypnosis. I do dodge, which is actually kind of nice because I'm going to do the exact same switch right here. I'm just going to go for a max hailstorm into the Lunala and I'm just going to go back into Magirna. Uh, the Landris is intimidated, still pretty valuable into the uh, Calyx Ice Rider. I could go for a rock slide, which uh, can cause them. It's just a uh, Lunala I have to get rid of. Lunala is such a pain for the rest of my team. Uh, let's see who they're Dynamaxing. I'd imagine it's Lunala, but if it is the Calyx Ice Rider, this makes it so much easier for me. It is going to be the Calyx Ice Rider, though. Okay. Which makes a lot of sense. Uh, did they go for the Max Quake reading me, or did they just go for a Hailstorm here? Because that's actually pretty nice if they just went for the Hailstorm right here. As... Yep, they went for the Hailstorm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. As... Magirna will be able to eat this up. Magirna is bulky. Did they double up or did they just go for the attack right here? Because let's see. Still asleep, unfortunate, but it is hypnosis that we're dealing with. They just like clicking hypnosis. Uh, we did dodge. Why couldn't we dodge the first one? That's my question. Why couldn't we dodge the first one? <laughs> okay. It's still okay, though, at this rate. I do not mind this position, I guess. I mean, it's still kind of annoying. They don't have Reflect Up anymore, so I am going to fire off the Glacial Lands if they allow me to. I'm swapping out my Magirna. Actually, do I swap out Magirna? I think I just go for the Floor Cannon here because they're probably going for the Hailstorm and Magirna. It takes a knockout here. I could go into Kyogre, I guess, but I don't want Kyogre taking any chip that's unnecessary, and I don't feel like Magirna is, like, valuable enough to save anymore. I'm just going to go for the Flare Cannon right here, and I'm going to go for Glacial Lance. Uh, we're faster than the Calyx, but we missed the Flare Cannon. Okay. Unfortunate right there. Uh, Hailstorm, I'm going to come out into the Magirna. All right. Unfortunate right there, as uh, my Calyx might be going back to sleep, realistically, <laughs> which is not exactly super pleasant right here. 
Uh, we are gonna... Oh, I guess... Did they moon guys this time? No, they just click hypnosis again. Okay. Which, realistically, isn't that bad. Is this hypnosis trick room or... I can't tell what this set is. I'm going hard into Kyogre now, I guess. I, I'm clicking water spout here. Like, I'm 100% clicking water spout. I'm going to go for a water spout and I think I'm gonna... Oh, man. Kyogre is slower than the Lunala guaranteed. I don't, I don't think this is Y guard at this point. I feel like it has to be Trick Room. I'm going to go for a... You know what? I'm just going to go for a tax. Let's, let's just let's just roll the dice here. I think I could beat down their Calyx Ice Rider, but we'll see. It is Y guard Hypnosis. Oh, it might be... Is it no Meteor Beam or is it no Trick Room? That's really bad. Okay. That's really bad. All right. Uh, Calyx a little bit late to the party, but all right here. At least Landis didn't take the sleep, which is pretty important. Uh, we're going to see. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It actually has overgrow on this set. Uh, this shouldn't pick up the... No, this does pick up the Naka. <laughs> oh, my. This is... Uh, I... All right. And I win. If they click wide guard, I lose again. But I don't have an out, do I? I don't have an out. If they click wide guard again. If they don't click wide guard again, I can win. If they click wide guard again, we are 100% screwed. Landorus and... I mean... I f Unless superpower plus high horsepower KOs the Calyx. But I do not think it does. Even with a critical hit from... I'd have to crit the superpower specifically, right? I think I would have to in order to do that. I can't put the Lunala in range of anything, which is the frustrating part. I think I just have to hope that they don't click wide guard here for some reason. I'm just clicking rock slide. They should click wide guard here. Yeah, there really is no reason to, but I just had no out right here. I always power crit. I don't think chaos the Lunala at this range. I had to hope for a flinch. <laughs> Oh, this Lunala set was painful. The fact that it was just hypnosis. I don't know if it has meteor beam. That's a problem meter. If it has me if it has trick room, then this Lunala set was just like really hard for me to deal with. I just had to make calls right. But if it was I mean maybe I could just ho hope that they click hypnosis for some reason and miss my Calyx and then I omega crit their Calyx somehow and dodge it. Well, they can just seed bomb. So I don't think there was anything I could do in this one. Lunala. Hypnosis. Uh frustrating set, but yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate for me right there. It also sucked too because I could have put the Lunala potentially into range if my Magutta didn't miss Floor Cannon that one turn. Uh that, that Floor Cannon actually would have been huge into Lunala now. But yeah. Unlucky, but I did dodge like what two hypnosis is although really they didn't even end up mattering in most of the cases uh, I guess they could have given my opponent free reigns to Calyx, but yeah, unless uh, Unless they clicked high horsepower miss my Calyx for some reason They should always click seed bomb here. Like there's no shot. I win this life or glacial lance Yeah, it would have just knocked out the Lunala or yeah, that was a crit in their Calyx that was a double crit. Really? Where was my luck when I needed to wake up, hit the flare cannon the other times? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have just went into Kyogre, doubled out in the land. This wasn't a bad play either. You can't be serious. <laughs> bullet Seed? I lost a Bullet Seed Calyx. Is that for a Shifu? Oh my. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about this game anymore. They show the sets, they show the sets, but I do not want to talk about this game anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. They show policy. It has bulletsy trick room. Power of agility. And it's naive for some reason. Or not naive. No, it's no, it's not naive. That's rash? Yeah, that's rash. Life Orb Alaki with Reflect, Rising Voltage. That Reflect actually really did help them. The damage that I wasn't doing to Lunala was actually pretty big. Citrus Berry on the Grout. That's Fire Blast and Solar Beam. And Max Attack. Cause Sea Berry Lunala. 
It didn't even have trick. Wait, it didn't even have meteor beam. Well, it makes sense because the Eternatus, but this is has protect too. It's just solo trick one to Cali Ice. Well, I've said that this uh, format is gonna be hectic, and uh, yeah, for sure. You, in Great Ball tier, especially. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about it. And that is the show. Boy, this format has so many power dynamics. That's what happens when you have all these powerful mythicals and restricteds right here. But yeah, the fact that we have all of them is crazy. If you do want to check out the details of this team, though, you can check it out down below the description. There'll be a link to the creator as well as the enter code and the pace spin of the team if you do want to try it out. Or you could grab the rental code on your screen right here. But yeah, I will be wanting to try a lot of rental codes probably in the future. And I might try some of the viewer suggested rental codes. So that should be pretty interesting. Let me know. And I'll be trying out probably every mythical by the end of series 13. So should be pretty fun. I'll try to make Celebi somehow work as well. Oh boy. But if you do enjoy the videos, be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. It really does help me out once again. And yeah, look forward to more Series 13. And hopefully we can get some power swaps off of maybe Specs Kyogre in the next episode. I'm going to be trying out this team for one more episode. But that's going to be it for me. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch y'all later.